Hi, my name is Chris, and I am a plague doctor. The plague is bad for you, which is why I protect myself with this fancy mask. I fill the beak with dried grass and perfume to prevent the plague from getting in my nose. And I never leave home without my hat. Because there's nothing worse than getting a sunburn when you're out curing the plague. Hey everyone, welcome here if you've never been here before. Hi, if you have, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a plague doctor hat out of foam. So I've got this just regular hat or I'm also going to include the parts for uh, sort of just more a steampunky vibe hat. You can have your little bottles of medicines on the side. All right, let's do it. Here's what you got to do. Start by printing the pattern, making sure it's set to print at actual size. You can verify that it's printed correctly by measuring it with an Australian ruler. Once all the pieces are printed out, you can tape them together. I usually do this on a window so I can see through the paper to line up the alignment crosses. And if you like being pedantic, feel free to cut off the margins from the paper, so when you put them together there are no annoying gaps. Once it's all put together, replenish your body with a nutritious snack, like some yogurt. Yum, yum. Yum. Next you need to figure out your head size. But remember, if you're planning to be wearing this with the Plague Doctor mask, you need to measure your head including the mask. Find the corresponding size on the hat pattern and cut along the appropriate lines. For the outside of the brim, the inside of the brim, which is also the top of the hat, and the band. You'll notice there are two lines for each size on the band. One's a solid line and one's a dotted line. And that's to allow for if you're using different thicknesses of foam. If you're using 6mm foam, cut on the solid line, and if you're using 8mm, cut on the dotted line. For most of my projects, I use a 6mm thick EVA foam mat, however it has a texture on one side which would look funny on the brim. So instead I'm going to use an awesome product from Cosplay Apprentice called What the Foam? It's still EVA foam, but it's much denser than the foam I've used before, and it's smooth on both sides. Perfect. I'll do a full review in another video, but for now, trust me, this stuff is sweet. Put your brim down on the foam and trace around the inside and the outside. Mark the center lines on the inside, remove the pattern, and extend them into the brim. Don't forget to mark the center line of the band as well when you're tracing it. It's pretty important. Now grab a super sharp knife and start cutting out the hat parts. And as always, don't cut your fingers off. Because this foam is really dense, it takes me about three cuts to get all the way through. Whenever you're cutting through relatively thick foam, it's always a better idea to do multiple shallow cuts rather than trying to push through one big, strong, out of control cut. It's just gonna end bad. Now would be a good time to try the brim over top of the mask just to make sure it fits. If it's a little bit too big, that's okay because we can add some spacers on the inside when we're done. If it's too small, freak out, because something has gone horribly wrong. I'm going to be using hot glue to hold this together, but you could also use contact cement, especially if you're going to be wearing this black hat out in the hot sun, because if hot glue gets too hot, it could melt again. Glue the two ends of the band together, gluing a small section at a time, and then hold it together until the glue cools. Once it's cool, you can glue the next section. Pull the extra squeezed out glue off, and then rub the seam vigorously with a scrap of foam. This will help clean up the seam and make it kinda smooth. Double check that the top fits in the band. At this point, it's helpful if you extend the centerline marks on the brim and the band so that they go around onto the other side of the foam. Using a small amount of hot glue, tack the band in place, with the back seam of the band lining up with one of the center marks on the brim, and the center mark of the band lining up with the other center mark on the brim. Next, glue a short section on each side, and then you can go and complete the glue seam section by section all the way around the hat. For cleaning up that glue seam, I cut a piece of foam with a bit of an angle on it to make it easier to get right into that corner. Now glue the top on, gluing a small amount at the front and back center lines first, and then glue around the edges a section at a time. If you're using contact cement for this part of the build, you're going to need some way to lower that top piece in without it touching the edges. Like maybe use some thin strips of cardboard all the way around so that it doesn't touch until you pull them out. Anyways, back to hot glue. 
I tried a few different techniques for gluing the top on and I found it worked best for me if I glued a section, then flipped the hat upside down onto my silicone mat and used the fingers on my right hand to hold the top against the table, my thumb to hold the side down, and the fingers on my other hand to press the side in against the top piece. And then clean up the glue seams with some scrap foam. Cut a strip of 2mm foam to the length as indicated on the pattern for your size. If you have a long ruler, it's actually a lot easier to use it as a cutting guide rather than tracing out that thin strip of paper and trying to get it nice and straight. Wrap the strip around the base of the hat and glue it into place. If there's some overlap on the end of the strip, trim it down to length. And now you can paint it black. And once it's dry, you can try it on. If your hat is a little too big, you can add a strip of leather to smallen it up a bit. The other advantage of this is it's a bit softer and less sweaty on your forehead when you wear the hat. I only needed a strip around the front to get the fit that I wanted. And that is a basic Plague Doctor hat. If you wanted to steampunk it up a bit, you could take the strip from the bottom, bend it over the top seam, add some fancy flangey pieces, and some accoutrement holding devices, making sure to apply a generous portion of rivets. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you make an awesome Plague Doctor hat and go heal some plague. As usual, the pattern is available. There'll be a link in the description below, as well as hopefully popping up here somewhere. Again, I want to say a special thanks to Cosplay Apprentice who sent me this foam, which actually made this possible. This first one was made from six millimeter foam, but I tried a second one with their four millimeter foam and look at how strong that is. See, look at that, I'm holding it by the edge of the brim and it's only bending that much. It's amazing foam, buy some and get some. They're not paying me to say that either. They just sent me the foam. Thanks for watching, see ya.